Friends, thanks for joining me today. I am going to lead you through a really simple warm up just to get the body moving. This is really nice to do at the beginning of the day when you're just getting going or uh, to do before your personal practice or another one of my videos. So we'll start in child's pose. Your big toes can come together, your knees can be apart. And then walk the hands forward. Eventually resting the forehead down on the mat. You want your sits bones as close to the heels as possible. Your arms are reaching forward, shoulders distance apart. And then go ahead and release the elbows down to the mat. If the hips aren't quite finding the heels, notice what is causing that. So either some flexion in the knees or the flexion in the hips isn't allowing that to happen. Just observe that and see if you can heavy the hips any more. Wiggle out the jaw, let the face muscles release. And begin to deepen your breath. If your upper body is close to your thighs, you may feel the ribs expanding into the legs. Try to also feel the breath expanding into the back side of the ribs. Allowing the lungs to fill up in all directions. So the rib cage moves outward, back and forward as you inhale, and it releases back towards the center as you exhale. We'll begin to activate through our hands, so press down into the palms to lift the elbows off the mat. Again, hands are about shoulder distance apart. Spread the fingers as wide as you can. Press all ten knuckles and fingertips down into the mat. Almost think like your hands are little suction cups, so you could pull them in towards the center of the hands if you wanted, so there's some activity between the floor and the hands. And then rotate the armpits towards the midline to create some space around the ears, dropping the shoulder blades down the back. As you inhale, pop up onto your fingertips, look forward. And then exhale, walk your hands over towards the right side. Walk your left fingertips a little further forward. Pull your left hip crease back and then just let your ears rest between the biceps or if it's comfortable, you can bring the forehead back down to the mat. Breathe more into the lengthened left side of the body. Inhale, walk the fingertips through center. Exhale, take them over towards the left. The right fingertips will walk a little further forward. Pull your right hip crease back and then rest the head wherever it feels comfortable. Keep the shoulder blades drawing down the back, the armpit, armpits rotating in. Next, inhale, walk through center. And exhale, plant the palms. We're going to take some rolling cat cows. So on your inhale, you'll round the spine and begin to shift the hips forward so that the shoulders stack over the wrists. As you exhale, you'll lift the heart and the tailbone and shift your hips back. Inhale, rounding, shifting forward. And exhale, arching, shifting back. You might give a little bend to your elbows. Continue on your breath. So this is actually the opposite breath that we normally do. We usually inhale as we're expanding, but see if when you inhale and arch, you can find a little more core engagement. And as you exhale, you let the throat become really open, maybe even release through the mouth as you shift back. Then take two more rounds. And then the next time you inhale and round forward, 
You'll pause there and as you exhale, you'll realign to find table pose. So the shins will be parallel to one another, stacked directly, or the hips are stacked directly over the knees, the so shoulders over the wrists. Lengthen the tailbone back and hug the belly button in towards the ribs so the core is a little turned on here. Take your right foot towards the back of the mat, hop onto your toes, and begin to rock forward and back, opening up the back of the leg, the right calf, Notice the weight coming in and out of the hand. See if you can keep the pointer finger and thumb rooted into the mat. Then pause, dial your right heel down 90 degrees. Your left foot might swing a little out towards the left, kind of like a kickstand. Then reach your right arm up to the sky for a modified side plank. Roll the left shoulder down and away from your ear. Press more into the bottom hand. Press into the outer edge of your right foot. Then flip your right palm forward and reach the arm up and over the ear. Feel a lot of length along the right side of the body. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, the right hand will circle down to the mat. You'll realign your left leg and then float the right heel up in line with the hip. So notice if you just went into an arched back, press down into the hands, root the tailbone back, send energy through the heel and close your front ribs. Then inhale, option to reach your left arm forward. Exhale, draw knee to elbow or just knee to nose. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Keep your right shoulder above your right wrist. Then inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, you'll bend your back knee. You'll reach your left arm around and maybe find the foot. If you've got the foot, kick it back into the hand and begin to open through the heart. Keep the right knee pointing down so it may want to come out towards the right. Internally rotate the leg. Inhale, gently release. And exhale to child's pose. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, look forward. And exhale, find table. This time we'll take the other side. So send your left heel back. Toes are on the ground, begin to rock forward and back, opening up the back of the leg. Keep the breath moving. Then find stillness, dial your left heel down to the ground. Right foot might kick out to the right a bit, left arm reaches to the sky for modified side plank. Again, roll the right shoulder down and away from the ear. Almost think like you've got a dial underneath your right hand and you're turning it clockwise. Your hand won't move, but it's just that action. Then take the top arm up and over the ear. Press into the outer edge of your left foot and reach your left fingertips forward more. Take an inhale. Exhale, hand circles down, right leg realigns, left heel floats up, flex the foot. Toes are pointing down, core is engaged. An option to reach the right arm forward, inhale. Exhale, knee to elbow and round. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. So not going into a back bend yet, inhale, lengthen, long spine. Exhale, round. Inhale, lengthen. And now bend your back knee, reach your right arm back and maybe find the foot. If you've got the foot, now you begin to lift the heart, kick the foot back into the hand. You'll feel a little sensation on the front of the right shoulder. Inhale, lengthen, gently release. And exhale, child's pose. Inhale, look forward, shift forward. Walk your hands just a little bit further forward on your mat. And then tuck your toes and lift your hips up and back for downward facing dog. It's your first downward facing dog, so go ahead and keep the knees pretty bent here. See all the hands down, press down and forward through the hands to lift the hips up and back. And then maybe find some movement. You can walk one heel to the ground and then the other. Continuing to keep the arms active. Maybe swaying the hips side to side, turning the head side to side. 
and then find neutral. On your inhale, lift your heels and around your spine, begin to shift forward so that the shoulders stack over the wrists. We'll pause here for a few rounds of breath, so if you want to drop the knees down, that's fine for a modified plank. Otherwise, charge the center of the thighs up towards the sky, reach the heels back and the heart forward. Back of the neck is long. Take an inhale. Exhale, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward to plank. Unfurling the heart, unfurling the crown of the head. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. And then exhale, drop knees, belly, and chest down to the mat. Untuck the toes. Bring your hands wider than your mat and come onto your fingertips. Elbows will point up. Actively pull your fingertips towards the midline of the body so that the arms are really turned on here. Inhale, press into the fingertips and lift the heart. Keep pulling the fingertips towards one another. Exhale, drop your right shoulders to the mat and turn towards the left. Inhale through center, and exhale, switch left shoulder drops, look to the right. Keep the hands active. Inhale through center, exhale one more time each side. Tops of the feet are rooted down. Kneecaps are lifted off the mat to engage the legs. Next time you come through center, center you'll drop down. Hands come back by the ribs. Press yourself up through modified or full plank, and downward facing dog. Inhale, bend the knees and look forward, and then exhale, take small steps towards the top of your mat, finding a forward fold. So the heels stack directly underneath the hips. You might keep your knees really bent. And then grab for opposite elbows. So allow the arms to help heavy the spine and heavy the head towards the ground. Make sure the weight is evenly dispersed between the heels and the balls of the feet. And then maybe sway side to side. Switch the cross of the elbows. This will be the non-habitual way you like to cross your elbows. And then release the hands. The backs of the hands might find the floor. Just relax. Bend the knees a little deeper and then slowly begin to press down through the feet to roll up through the spine. So I'm stacking vertebrae by vertebrae. Continuing to activate my feet into the ground. At the top, I might roll my shoulders up, down, and back. Palms face forward, Tadasana. So now you're ready to take maybe a few sun salutations, um, another flow on my channel, or anything else. Um, hopefully your body's feeling really good at this point. If you have any questions, feel free to comment, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.